Hey everybody, welcome back to Easy Breezy. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button before this video gets started. Uh, today, we are back with part two. Uh, I think today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sanding it down, uh, getting it pretty much prepped for paint. And uh, I think that's gonna take the majority of the time. Uh, probably end up gonna be a part three, painting it, buffing it, everything like that. So, glad you guys came along. Let's get started. All right, so just like last time, we're gonna use a simple orbital sander. Uh, we are gonna start out with a uh, 120, get the clear coat all scuffed up, then we'll come back through with a uh, 320 before we paint. So let's get started. <laughs> Now I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to get a 80 grit because uh, this is going to take a little bit to get off and I, I'd like that to clean off a little bit. So I'm going to grab an 80 grit, get that set up and then we'll get started again. Alright, so we got the new sandpaper on there. <laughs> As you guys can see it's getting feathered down pretty nice um, I'm not gonna make you guys sitting through the whole thing what I'll do is I'll fast forward through this half we'll get that all sanded down and you guys can kind of see the difference when I'm done So we're gonna get it blowed off and give you guys a look of what the difference is. There you guys have it. We got half the hood done. Now, let's move on to the next half. Now this side here, we are actually going to be doing it with a, but with by hand. And uh, so what I actually did is I have a worn out uh, sanding sponge is what I call them. Uh, I just took some 60 grit, put it in there, wrap it up and you can kind of hold it while you're sanding that way. You can get around the crevices and things like that. It did seem to work a little bit easier, uh, at least for this panel alone. And we'll come back with the orbital sander uh, with 120 again, do the whole hood, and then come back again with 320 before we paint. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 120 grit, go over the whole hood real good again, and then we'll move on to the 320. I'm gonna time lapse it and let's get her done. on to our 320 grit get it ready um, sorry that most of this video is going to be time lapse and fast forward stuff like that uh, I generally don't do a lot of talking while I'm doing sanding so sorry in advance but let's get started again So what we're gonna do, I got some 150 on that now. Uh, the sides, they're not as bad, you know, beyond these rust areas here. Like I said, I'm not fixing it. You know, this truck's just gonna look better than it did. Uh, so let's get to sanding. The biggest thing with a respray, you just need to make sure you get it scratched up so the paint has something to stick to. Uh, clear coat's not the best to stick to because clear coat is meant to be smooth. So, what you do by you know, sanding it is you make it a surface for the, the paint to bond to. Just like that. So we'll put it on time lapse and get her done. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do half the hood at a time. We're gonna wipe the whole hood down, but we're only gonna paint half the hood. We're gonna put some primer surfacer on it. Now this is just some glass cleaner from Sprayway. half the hood and then I'm gonna move all these manila envelopes and we'll do the other half we'll let this dry all right so we're gonna be using this duplicolor uh, primer two-in-one high build formula uh, just so we can you know there's a lot of clear coat peel on it I know I didn't get it perfect this is just gonna help maybe fill in some of the extra imperfections Probably do two coats of this.
All right, got one coat on there. On that side, I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes, throw another coat on, then we'll move to the other side. All right, so we'll get the other side painted now. And I do about a halfway overlay when I'm spraying. Now this is primer filler. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna sand it down a little bit. By hand, just give it a quick sand to make it smooth, make sure that the no imperfections we can fix before we throw some actual paint on it. Like I said, I am throwing two coats of this on. that dry and like I said I'm gonna throw another coat on I won't make you guys watch that but let's move on to the next one all right so it's all dry it's been sitting here for about an hour what we're gonna do is I got some I usually use a little soap and water uh, we're gonna sand it down 600 grit uh, just a very very light wet sand and then we're going to rinse the whole truck off and uh, that'll probably be it for the day. Now the, the wet or the soap kind of gives a little bit of lubricant when you're sanding. And it also makes it so it doesn't fill your paper. And you want to make sure it's really, you're doing a good amount of wet to it when you're sanding it. Or you're just going to, just going to start drying it up and you're going to start sticking. I'm going to continue doing this and we'll come back when she's done and we're ready to get the truck rinsed off. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is taking a rag and taking some more glass cleaner, cleaning it up, getting all the grease and oil, stuff like that off of it. don't want to really want to be touching the metal because the oils from your hands can get on the paint job. All right. So I already did the front half, so we're all good here. All right, I think that's gonna wrap up part two of the quick and cheap Chevy paint job. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned a couple things. Um, like I said, this is just a quick, easy paint job. Nothing special, making the truck look better. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like I'm painting over rust and things like that, but like I said, a, chick, a, a cheap, easy paint job. I mean, that's as that's simple as that. All right, so if you guys can, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, tell people about it. 
share the video as much as possible. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, don't get in trouble, even though it's not always fun. You guys have a great one.